Hi everyone, welcome to the Drupal Academy. In this tutorial, I will explain you about the RESTful web services in a Drupal, which modules are required to create the RESTful web services in Drupal and how to configure the RESTful web services. So before that, I will explain you what is the RESTful web services. RESTful web services refer to the capability of Drupal to expose its data and functionality over the HTTP in a RESTful manner. This allows other systems such as the external applications or websites to interact with the Drupal content and features programmatically. I have created this diagram to explain the RESTful web services. Consider you have the website which contains the news and you want to display those news on the this external android or the ios app or the any third party website so how can you display those news on this external website for that we create the rest apis it will expose the data from website to the third party websites so when the end user request the data that data pass through the http request consider we have any node or the news whose id is 123 request goes to our web server and it fetch the data from the database again the request return back to the web server and data return in the response in the form of the json or the xml format and that data will be displayed on the external websites so in this series I will create the different types of RESTful APIs to get the data from the website using the get method we will post the data and from that data we will create the new nodes we will update the data using the patch method and delete the data using the delete method. So to configure the RESTful web services in a Drupal we need the these four modules RESTful web services serialization rest ui and the http basic authentication so we will install these modules these three modules are there in the drupal core and we need to download the rest ui so first we will install these three modules for that go to the backend of your website click on the extend search for the restful web services so to install this model, we will require the serialization. So first we will install that model serialization. Click on this checkbox and click on the install button to install the model. The serialization model is enabled successfully. Now we will enable the these two remaining models, RESTful Web Services and the basic authentication. RESTful web services and the basic auth. So this basic auth module is required to authenticate the users. So these two modules are enabled HTTP basic authentication and the RESTful web services. Now we will install the REST UI which is not the part of the Drupal 4. So search for the REST UI Drupal module. Click on this link on the Drupal.org website. Click on this link to download the files. Here from here these links you can download and paste those files in the model folder. I will install this module using the composer. So copy this command and go to the git bash right now i am in the root directory of my website my website name is the drupal and paste that command here the module is downloaded now i will enable this module using the drush vendor bin drush en for the enabling model and the model machine name is the rest ui so this model is enabled successfully 
REST UI model provide the interface in the backend to create the APIs. Now click on the configuration. After that, go to the REST. REST UI model provides this interface. Uh, on this page, you can see that there are different types of APIs which are already provided by the Drupal. So this one is the node slash and uh, we need to pass the node id and we can perform the this operation like get data update data using the patch delete and the post data same way there are multiple apis provided by the drupal action blocks so in the next video i will explain you about how to get the data using the web services in a drupal and to run those APIs, we will require the Postman. So you can download the Postman from the Postman website. So from here, you can download the Postman for the Windows. So that's it from this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more drupal tutorials and leave your questions or comments below thank you for watching and see you in the next video